The wind was gently moving her hair. The sun was shining above. Deep in her heart, Europe had a dream. She decided to be the mother of a new land. Suddenly, she felt someone was behind her. She turned quickly. A man was standing here. His eyes were beautiful and blue, like the sea around them. Don't be frightened. This is my ship. My name is Aeneas. She felt safe. And this is my son, Ascanio. We are sailing together for a new land. His voice was deep, like the love for his boy. The wind was getting stronger and stronger. A stormy rain started falling on their bodies. Soon a tempest shook the ship. The voice of Poseidon came from the beneath to the sea, to attending them. I am Poseidon, the god of the water! I am Poseidon! Aeneas, Ascanio and Europe feared from their lives. Where they were going? They had no control of the ship. After an endless time, they could finally see a coastline. Dido, Queen of Carthage. You are in Africa. You can stay here as long as you wish. She stared at Aeneas. They seem magically and lovingly attracted. Have some rest. You must be very tired. Your rooms are ready. It's only me, sweet Europe. Don't worry, I only want to give you a precious gift. Here, take it. What could it be? Dido was offering Europe a magic compass. Go, Europe, go. Follow your dream. You can't get lost now. Your dreamland is waiting for you. Find it, but leave me an ass. I can live without him. Zeus had shot him during the night, hindered Zeus. Don't stop, Aeneas! You must go! After some time, they could finally see a new coastline. Suddenly, a very dazzling light sparkled from Europe's next list. It was so radiant, strange images came out of the ray in the sky. Is it a sign from the gods? There, in front of her life, was the life of Romulus and Remo, descendants of the Aeneas and Ascanio, and future founders of Rome. Europe was amazed. She wondered if Rome was the place, her dreamland, at the start of a new continent. She turned, Aeneas was there, he understood. Stop here. There is more. Here 
here's my gift for you. I give you peace, a feeling of respect for life and mankind. Keep it in your heart. You need it. And suddenly, a last sparkle came out of the necklace. A huge bald dragon appeared in the sky in a red fried cloud. Fight the dragon, we must live in peace and brotherhood in pieces. My destiny is here. Take my ship, Europe, and go. And a beautiful shining star crossed down the sky.